In this demonstration, we're going to show you some of the elements of a typical mixed signal debug process. Just a process that may, a customer may go through to debug a mixed signal design with analog and digital. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and restore a demo session file. It's called Digital Channels. I'm just going to load that in. It's got uh, a full setup already in here with the data included. Um, and this circuit is a digital to analog converter. And it has a parallel bus and an SPI bus that programs it. You can see on channel one here, I've got the output of the DAC. That's an analog channel. Looks like a sine wave. You can see that up in the overview window here. And I'm triggering on the rising edge of that. On channel two, I've got a digital probe with eight channels. And you can see the values as they change here, uh, indicating when to change the magnitude on the output of the D to A converter. On channel three, I've got an SPI bus also hooked up through a digital probe. So I've just got three inputs there, a slave select clock, and then the MOSI data channel. Below that, I've got two buses, a parallel bus, which is the digital channels going into the D to A converter. So it's just showing you the hex values of that bus. And then I've got the SPI data uh, bus value below that. And if I tweak the horizontal settings here just a little bit, you can see those values show up. So you can see here 60 hex gets programmed through the SPI bus, shows up on the parallel bus next. Same thing with the 54 hex, that's on the SPI bus, and then it shows up on the digital channel, indicating to change magnitude on the output of the DDA converter. So just kind of a simple example of how you can see uh, serial buses, digital and analog, all in the same system.